If they do they are going against the wishes of the Queen herself and anything that Harry and Meghan say going forward has nothing to do with the royal family and the Queen, they are on their own. If they choose to come to the UK for visits they will do so as 100% private citizens and will not stay in any royal estate. They must support their trip to the UK just like any private citizen would have to. This is how you deal with Harry and Meghan. If the royal family does not cut them off they will be forever in a tussle with them, week after week, month after month, year after year. Move on royal family. The Duchess of Sussex opened up about her life as a royal family member in a no-holds-barred interview last March with the Diane of U.S. chat shows. During the course of the interview, Meghan and Prince Harry made a series of explosive revelations that shook the foundations of the House of Windsor to its very core. The Duchess revealed that she had contemplated suicide at one stage, while the couple also implied that the royal family member was racist. I just don't get her. She cuts off contact with her own family for seemingly just embarrassment. Then claims all these horrible things by the royal family but still insists on hanging on. It really proves she will use anyone to get ahead until they are no longer useful. Simply put, the royal family should fully ignore them and get on with business in the UK. Get on with life, get out there, do what the royals do and leave Harry and Meghan behind. Move forward. The Queen must revoke everything the UK has given Harry and Meghan to and make it known flat out, make a public statement that Harry and Meghan are not to use their royal titles in any capacity. I am an American, have worked in the mental health field, and am the widow of a psychiatrist. The poppycock about her suicidal feelings is just that. As I have said before, Freud lived in England and Hollywood has therapists on speed dial. Neither is a third world country without access to mental health. Her behavior says it all. I find her a personality disorder and Harry as a traumatized individual who she knows how to manipulate. How dare they have their interview when Prince Philip lay dying. No shame. No honor. No class. Lady Antonia Fraser, a renowned historian whose books include works on Mary Queen of Scots and Oliver Cromwell, was scathing in her criticism of the decision to grant the interview. She told the Daily Telegraph, Now I'm afraid, appearing on Oprah Winfrey was worse than a crime, it was a mistake. I just wish vainly she'd shut up. And Prince Harry, and Prince Andrew, I'd like to see another photograph by the Duchess of Cambridge rather than read another thing about Prince Harry, Lady Fraser boasts some blue blood herself, being the daughter of the 7th Earl of Longford. She was married to the British playwright Harold Pinter, a former Nobel laureate. Besides her historical works, the talented author has also written detective novels. Lady Fraser revealed she had originally a positive opinion of the Duchess and had tried to reach out to her when she first arrived. She said she wrote Meghan a letter and sent it to Frogmore Cottage where the royal couple were then living, however, the letter was returned and seemingly had not been read by the intended recipient. Lady Fraser said, I sent the letter to Frogmore, it came back, saying, not known at this address. Despite Lady Fraser's harsh appraisal of the Oprah interview, many others praised the Duchess for her courage to speak out and saw it as an inspirational move. Bernice King, the youngest child of the late civil rights activist Martin Luther King, tweeted at the time, Royalty is not a shield from the devastation and despair of racism. I'm grateful that Meghan Markle is still here, tennis champion Serena Williams called Meghan her selfless friend who teaches me every day what it means to be truly noble, she added, her words illustrate the pain and cruelty she's experienced.
I know firsthand the sexism and racism institutions and the media use to vilify women and people of color to minimize us, to break us down and demonize us. We must recognize our obligation to decry malicious, unfounded gossip and tabloid journalism. The mental health consequences of systemic oppression and victimization are devastating, isolating and all too often lethal. Since the Tom Bauer book, which was an immense revelation, Pandora's box is wide open, if Megan had the ability to sue, she would have done so, it is only a matter of time until the deals are cancelled, however, one thing that the book highlighted was that Megan registered their foundation in Delaware, not where they live in California. The reason apparently is that when registered in Delaware the finances are not open to public scrutiny. Also legally you can use 95% of the money donated to charity for your expenses. This included where you live, traveling, meals, clothes etc. This means that under Megan's guidance the couple can make a generous donation. The word we continually hear used, to one of their own charities, who in turn will give them an award for being wonderful, out of the 5%, and make them look like philanthropists. All very nice and circular and keeps it in the family, the 95% affords a very pleasant lifestyle, private jets, polo, designer clothes and we know that Megan likes a posh restaurant. I wonder which charity paid for Lilibet's £277 birthday cake? Picked up on woman before her marriage. An Iranian Muslim woman told me she could not sleep and prayed to God Harry would not go through with the wedding the next day. As she used social media, she told me likewise so many in Iran saw through the woman as well. I am not British, but considered her stalking and what she did using marriage as a personal crime. Had Meghan Markle really been depressed during her pregnancy it would have been immediately spotted by her obstetrician and the midwives. The Portland Hospital also has counselors and she would have been able to access one without it becoming public knowledge. In addition, there is a doctor who is known by the wonderful title of apothecary to Her Majesty and the Royal Household, as we would call a GP, all to whom she could refer herself. Meghan Markle knows which buttons to press for immediate attention and we all know she lies. Just to keep this light cause the da shot down my original comment, what about her crimes against fashion, never mind the rest of it, you know the lies on Oprah, suicidal thoughts, trashing the royals and her own family, I have to say there have been some humdingers in the fashion department. See da I will have my say. Psychopaths come in a variety of shades and are all equally unpleasant, however, sharing the same language does not mean sharing the same culture. We Brits were shocked in the 1940s when the American army stationed here wanted segregation of their black troops, barring them from white-only premises, it seems their black troops were good enough to die for America but not good enough to share a pub with. America is a deeply divided country and a racist one. The UK has problems of its own, but has a much better blended society and celebrates diversity. Meghan had a huge welcome in the UK and was not criticized for her mixed race heritage which was regarded as an advantage. She was booked for being a liar and attempting to use RRF for self-promotion. When that scheme didn't work she did her best to destroy it, she underestimated the UK public and would be advised not to return for a second performance. This is absolutely true. This country along with the RF, welcomed this woman with open arms and for people like Serena Williams to say differently as an out-and-out -out lie. It is true that we now despise and loathe both her and her fool of a husband for the kick in the teeth they have both given to us and the RF, particularly our 96-year-old queen, who sadly for her is this vile mont's grandmother. The female of toxic, too is worse than despicable. So full of herself that she had, has no idea how the RF has been in the UK's psyche for decades. Yes, they have faults, but she married into them. It's not down to an American nobody to be so disparaging of the monarchy.